Welcome back to the channel boys, Fat Balloonski's coming at your neck with this surprise attack build. And yes, that's right, I'm finally making a sidearm build. In case anybody who doesn't know, uh, I do not like sidearms, right? I think sidearm, I don't think they suck, it's just not my play style. I think they feel weird, I feel like I can't really hit my shots, I don't know. But, this season sidearm brass attacks. I got this roll, right? Actually, we'll show this off first before we even get into the build, because this is what made me make this build in the first place, right? I got hammer forged rifling. I have a choice between ricochet rounds or armor piercing rounds, right? I just have this one on because of the stability. And then I got killing wind and one for all or rampage. Now I was thinking, uh, killing wind on a sidearm for PvE. I really don't know, but then I read it and I was like, wait a second. I started thinking about it. It says final blows grant increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. Now, sidearms, like I said earlier, I feel like I can't really hit my shots. I feel like they have the range. I feel like I gotta be too close. But once I get a kill and I proc killing wind, it increases that range, which allows me to use it at farther distances. Pair that with one for all or rampage. I can literally choose whichever one I want. I, I'm going with rampage for this one. Hit three separate targets, get that damage buff for like 10 seconds. I can just go to town with this sidearm. It hits hard. I put a backup mag and I have 30 shots. That's another thing I didn't like sidearms. In fact, I had no ammo in the clip. Now with the backup mag, I got 30 shots. This shoots two bullets at a time. I got 15 mouse clicks or whatever you want to say. Wow, this sidearm is amazing, but let's just get to the build. So for this build, we're using Top Tree Night Stalker, mainly because when you dodge, you go invisible. I'm also using Omni Oculus, so whenever I dodge and go invisible, I get half my melee energy back. So I'm trying to put out as many smoke bombs as I possibly can. Plus, Tether is just always good for ad clear. Going invisible is good for resing your teammates. As for my loadout, we're also using a sniper. We got Succession Reconstruction Vorper Weapon, amazing gun. I just went over brass attack, so I gotta go over it again, but this thing is crazy. And then I got Code Duello, auto loading cluster bomb. As for my stats, we're using 100 mobility, got my dodge on an 11 second cooldown, 40 resilience, 32 recovery, that's actually kinda low, I wish that was a little bit higher, but it is what it is. We got 43 discipline, I have ways to make this much faster than what it says. Got 31 intellect, again, I have another way to make this much faster than it says. And then I got 54 strength. Again, this doesn't really matter because I'm going to be dodging a lot, going invisible, getting half my melee energy back. So let's go ahead and start with our helmet. We got a mobility mod. We got our ammo finders. You can swap whatever you want to use here, but I'm using a sniper and a rocket. So I like to have the flexibility right here. And then surprise attack. This is the mod that the whole build is based around. While charged with light, reloading or readying a sidearm will consume all stacks of charge with light and convert them into stacks of a major damage buff, which are depleted as you damage combatants with that sidearm. So note it says depleted as you damage combatants so if you miss or if there's no like enemies around you don't it's not just gonna go away it's only when you damage enemies or I think if you put away your gun I'm not too sure about that it does take away 10 from your intellect which is fine because I have font of wisdom on which will allow me to make up for that but this thing makes sidearms insane plus with the fact that it stacks with one for all, I can pretty much chew through majors. I can do pretty decent boss damage. It's crazy. On my arms, we got a minor strength mod. I didn't know what else to put here, so I figured I would just give myself another tier of strength. We got sidearm loader, which got, I feel like it's always necessary to have a reloading perk, or reloading mod rather. And then we got momentum transfer. Causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown. Now, I put this one on because when you do the wombo combo, when you smoke and then the grenade, your smoke is gonna do damage first and then your grenade. So you're gonna use your smoke ability, use your grenade, and you're gonna get a little bit of melee back because you're damaging any enemies with your grenade. So it kind of makes this build flow pretty nicely. And then I got a font of wisdom right here. Picking up an elemental well matches your subclass energy type, grants you a temporary significant increase in your intellect, improving the recharge rate of your super. Now I believe someone commented on my video and said that this gives 50 intellect. So we can take a look at it right here. I got 31 intellect. If I pick this up, now I have technically 81 intellect. So my super is gonna come back very fast over time. And plus just, it lasts for 30 seconds. So you keep chaining these together, you're gonna have your super pretty often. And for my exotic piece of choice, I'm using Omni Oculus. Now I already made a build with this exotic, but I figured I would use it again because it's so versatile and you can use it with so many different subclasses. Now for anybody who doesn't know, I'll go over the armor perk again. We got Beyond the Veil. You gain a second smoke bomb charge and you damage resistance while invisible. When you make an ally invisible, they gain damage resistance while invisible and you gain melee energy. Now, the, the, I don't know if it's like a bug or a glitch or if that's just the way it's supposed to work. Whenever you dodge to go invisible, you get half your melee energy back. It also works with Rat King. So if you get a kill with Rat King, reload, you go invisible, you get uh, half your melee energy back. Now, the only thing is that only works with Night Stalker. I tried using this with stasis, but unfortunately it doesn't give half your stasis melee energy back. Only with Night Stalker, but that's okay. 
The fact that it works with Rat King, Dodge to go invisible, Middle Tree, get the headshot while Crouch to go invisible, it works with that. This thing works with so many subclasses, it's amazing. We also got a mobility mod, we got concussive dampener, and then we got supercharge. You can have an additional two stacks of charge of light, so now I have four stacks of charge of light, which is really gonna make surprise attack even better. On my legs, we're using a mobility mod. We got double innervation, so whenever I pick up orbs of power, I get grenade cooldown. And then we got taking charge, picking up an orb of power will make me become charge of light. This is the way that I'm going to be able to use surprise attack. Plus my sidearm is masterwork. So getting kills with that will spawn orbs of power. I pick those up, just keep that cycle going, getting the charge, it's like charge magazine or something like that. Do damage with that, kill enemies, pick up those orbs and just keep that cycle going. It's, it's nuts. <laughs> and on my cloak, we got a mobility mod as well. We got double bomber mod, reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability. I have hundred mobility, so every 11 seconds I can get a nice little bit of grenade energy back. And then we got elemental armaments. Weapon takedowns with a damage type that matches your subclass element have an escalating chance to spawn an elemental well. Now being that brass attacks is void, I'm using Night Stalker, I'm also using Omni Oculus. I'm gonna have some pretty decent ability spam with this build on top of making my super comeback faster since I'm using Fonts of Wisdom. So this pairs very nicely with this build. I'm gonna get a lot of sidearm kills, spawn a lot of elemental wells, have my super comeback, get some abilities back, yeah, this, this works very nicely. And as for my Hunter fashion, I absolutely love this shader. This is one of my favorites in the game. So I kind of wanted to use it and make it focus around this shader right here with the ice and stuff. Um, I don't know. It looks really cool and I love the way it looks on this helmet. So if you guys want to know what this shader is, shaders will be in the description below. So I can't believe I'm about to say this, but god damn is this build good. <laughs> I, like I said in the beginning of the video, have never really been a fan of sidearms. I feel like I never have enough ammo. I feel like I don't have the range. I, f I don't know. I just, I didn't like them. But I got brass attacks and I figured, hey, I got a pretty good roll. Let's try it out. And I used it and I was like, I have to make a build around this sidearm because it was so much fun. It was very, very good. So I'm low-key hoping that next season we have some uh, nightfall mods like the anti-barrier and overload, whatever it is for sidearms because I really want to take advantage of the build in the nightfall. Unfortunately, I can't do it this season because right now I feel like I would be a burden to my team. I mean, I guess I could run anti-barrier sniper and then a sidearm, but nah, I feel like that's, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't really do that. But I mean, hey, maybe I'll try it. I don't know because Omni Oculus is already really good good and then using a sidearm I can just melt through ads and then have my sniper for the champions it's not a bad idea but as for just using it in the battlegrounds or you know, whatever it is dungeons wow this build is good you guys are seeing right now I'm actually doing the presage mission I'm doing it solo I'm using this build I'm using anarchy instead though and holy crap it was so good because I was able to take care of the boss I was able to clear all the ads and the all the ads in that mission have a lot of health so the fact that I'm able to chew through these ads with the sidearm is just nuts. Now, I don't know which raw I would like better. I don't know if I want the Killing Wind uh, one for all roll or the Killing Wind Rampage. They're both very good, I think, in their own way. I think in high end end game activity, I would use one for all because all you gotta do is hit three separate targets and you get a damage buff. But for something like the maybe the battlegrounds or something like that, maybe rampage is a little bit better because you can just keep chaining it together. You don't really have to hit three separate targets. You just keep getting kills and just go on a rampage, like the perk says. So I don't know which one I like better. They're both phenomenal. It is a phenomenal rule. I got each I got a choice. You know, I can just pick whichever one, whatever activity I'm doing, I can just select which rule I want to use. So for my guy that was asking about the sidearm build. Build. there it is man I hope you enjoyed it it's specifically for you if anybody else has maybe some ideas or recommendations or requests about a build that maybe you want to see if I can make it work let me know in the comments below I love trying it out I love doing that kind of stuff I love making builds so let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoy but if you guys like this content please like subscribe and share it truly really helps me out a lot you can also check out my other videos links are in the description below I have a lot of crazy builds so go and check that out and you might as well follow my social media I have a Twitter and an Instagram both at fat underscore but with all that being said, deuces.